Hi guys, Coach Alex. I'm Coach Emily. This is your first alchemy class. Welcome in. We're so happy to have you joining us. All of our returning vets, thanks for coming back. Today we've got an A20 happening. Quick little recap on what this class looks like. 50 minutes long, we're gonna warm you up with a dynamic yoga flow. Into that warm up, all of these movements will be introduced. Then we're gonna cool down with some yoga, but sandwiched between the yoga, we've got 20 minutes of high intensity. The movements are gonna change every time that you come back. Today what we've got is four rounds, all right? So we have two minutes, 16 swings, 16 push press, two minutes, 11 snatches, 11 front squats, and then we're gonna come down for a minute of max crunches, all right? So we're gonna move through that for four total rounds. What I want you guys to think about is on those weighted movements, your swings and your push press, you've got 16 reps of each. Try to do 16 unbroken, resting between movements. Really challenge yourself there. As we get further into this and you hit more and more reps, you're gonna start to fatigue out and it will get harder and harder. So make it your goal to move for those unbroken sets. Same things with the 11 snatches, 11 front squats. We're pushing through, challenging ourselves to not break up those movements as much as we can. And then max crunches. I just want you to find a nice steady pace moving the entire 60 seconds, all right? Really quick, last thing guys, we're holding on to that weight for the full for the first four minutes. So your grip is gonna start to feel that. If you need to, stretch it out in between those sets. Cool? All right, Coach M is gonna go ahead and demo some movements for us. First up, we've got swings. Feet shoulder distance apart, pull that weight back. Pop the hips open, arms fully extended here, squeezing the glutes at the top, keeping a nice flat back, making sure belly to spine engaging that core. From there, we've got push press. She's gonna narrow that stance, feet hip width, dip drive, punch that weight to the top. Go ahead, come back down to that front rack. So what that looks like, guys, is your weight's resting, your shoulders, elbows are up, pointed towards the screen, bodies in one long straight line. You'll dip down two to three inches, keep those elbows up, drive, punch that weight to the top, wrist decks over shoulder, biceps by ears. I really want you to make sure you press up into that weight, keeping your core locked in tight, never letting those elbows drop. From there, we've got snatches. Give them a rep them. Beautiful, all right, let's talk about that setup position. So your weight is gonna be between the legs, back is flat, shoulders above hips, hips above knees, hamstrings are loaded. So we really wanna make sure our hips are higher than our knees. From here, you open your hips, taking a single arm deadlift. Nice, and then from there, she'll reset. Next pr uh, progression is gonna be a high pull. So hips, high pull, and then finally you high pull and then pull all the way up to the top. Beautiful. Biggest thing, you guys, that I want you to make sure you're checking at home is as you high pull, never let that elbow drop. So it shouldn't turn into an elbow drop and a press. It's pulling all the way to the top. Give them one more rep M for me. Pull, finishing wrist over shoulder, bicep, but you're just like that push press. For those 11 snatches, you guys, you will alternate right and left, cool? All right, front squats, give them a rep for me. Awesome, front right position, same thing we talked about on that push press, weights resting on the shoulders, elbows are lifted, Pull your hips back as you drop down. Drive those knees out. Imagine my hand on the outside of the knee. Press into my hand. Get your chest lifted, engaging that low back. Core is locked in tight. And then stand all the way up, opening the hips, squeezing the glutes. Awesome. From there, we've got crunches, our only unweighted movement. You're gonna lower down to the ground. Arms are crossed. You're gonna roll up, tapping those elbows to about mid thigh. We're really gonna be firing up the belly. You guys, this is gonna help you feel really strong through the core, especially in those weighted movements. Cool? All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Woo. We are live. All right, guys, we're gonna get moving into our warm up. Find standing at attention pose. Feet come to touch, eyes closed, palms forward. Start by taking a big breath in through the nose, roll the shoulders up. And to open mouth, exhale, let it go. Start to roll your wrist, moving clockwise, counterclockwise, just letting yourself further settle into this space. And then take another inhale, shoulders come up, and open mouth, exhale, let it out. Third, final breath all together here. Inhale, shoulders high, and open mouth, exhale, let it go. Blink your eyes, open mountain pose, reach up tall. This is the top of that push press as well as the snatch. Wrist stacks over shoulder, biceps by ears. Right hand grabs left wrist, reach up and over. Take a nice long side body stretch. Come back up through the center, left hand grabs right wrist. Really focus on creating length into the side body. 
mountain pose, reach high. Baby back bend, goal post the arms, squeeze the glutes. One-legged mountain pose, right leg lifts. Figure four, right ankle crosses over the left, pull your hips back and down. Shift your weight into your left heel. Now sink down just a little bit further. Starting to get everything prepped for those snatches, front squats, one-legged mountain pose, rise. Star pose, step out wide, toes out, heels in. Horse pose, sink down low. Start to move side to side, really opening the hips up. Bring your hands to your thighs. Drop your right shoulder, look to the back to the front rather. Drop your left shoulder, look to the back. Do that one more time. Slowly just waking up the body, waking up the spine, and then low lunge to the front of the space. Plant your hands. Three-legged down dog, left toes go high. Hold here, press your chest through, reach the left toes up. Wide runner's lunge, left foot outside, left hand. Start to take some hip grinds here, circling left, circling right, right. The intention here is that we're opening up that hip flexor, our glutes, Maybe even through the hamstrings a little bit. You might straighten that left leg and bend back down. And step back, high plank, hold here. Press through the palms, draw the belly in, squeeze the glutes, start to fire up that core, getting ready for our crunches. Low plank, elbow stay tight. Upward facing dog, lift your chest, lift your thighs, press through the palms. Downward facing dog, send your hips up high. First down dog, start to pedal the heels out here, wake up the ankles, the calves. Drive your chest towards your thighs. Start to really wake up your body, moving at whatever variation you need here. And then see your hands, step to the top of your space. Mountain pose, rise up. You got 10 jump and touch, 10 high knees. Start to drive those knees up. Start to rebound off the floor, waking up our bodies, building a little bit of heat. And then mountain pose, ground down through the feet. Sweep the arms up high, rotate the palms in. Baby back bend, goal post the arms, send the hips forward. One-legged mountain pose, left leg lifts, find your balance, reach the arms up high. Figure four, left ankle crosses the right, pull your hips back and down. Shift your weight into your right heel, sink down one more inch. One-legged mountain pose, rise. Star pose, step out wide, toes out, heels in. Horse pose, sink down low. Same thing, hands to your thighs, drop the right shoulder, drop the left shoulder, just ease into some movement here. And then star pose, rise up. Horse pose, sink down, knees drive out, prepping for our squats. Low lunge, turn to the front of the space, fingers come to the floor. Three-legged down dog, send your right toes high. Wide runner's lunge, right foot outside, right hand, start to take some hip grind, circling right, circling left, starting to open everything up on that right side. And then step back, high plank. Shift forward, low plank, elbows stay tight. Upward facing dog, lift the chest, lift the thighs. Downward facing dog. Keep your feet where they are. Walk your hands to your feet, find a forward fold. And then walk right back out to a high plank. When you get there, drop to the knees, take one push up. I want three more inchworm push ups just like that. Taking your time here, feet stay exactly where they are. Walk the hands forward to that high plank, drop to the knees, take a push up, waking our body up for that pressing position of the push press. When you're done, Puppy dog pose is where we're gonna meet. You're gonna bring your knees to the ground. You're gonna walk the hands forward, keeping the hips lifted high, opening up those shoulders. Hold here, drive your chest to the floor. Maybe even try to bring your chin down, deepen things a little bit. Shift forward, tabletop, downward facing dog. See your hands step all the way to the top of your space. Five ground to jump and touch this time. Hinging at the hip, exploding up out of the bottom. This is that same movement I need you to use in those snatches. When you're done, feet step shoulder width distance apart, toes out, heels in. When I say down, pull your hips back, knees drive out, keep that chest lifted, look up at the screen. We're gonna go into the bottom of your air squat. And down, hold. Lift your chest, look up at Emini. Press your knee into my hand, drive those knees up. And stand. And down, hold, shift the weight to the heels. Toes stay rooted, shift the hips back, and stand. And down, hold, lift your chest. A little bit of spine strengthening, a little bit of spine engagement. And stand, I want five more air squats. Slow, steady, prepping for our front squats. When you are done, guys, I want five more ground to jump and touch into 10 high knees. We're trying to build a little bit of heat here, getting that heart rate going, getting the body nice and warm. Five ground to jump and touch, 10 high knees, drive those knees up. And then mountain pose, feet plant, arms sweep high. Baby back bend, goal post the arms. Mountain pose, rise up tall. Find a chest expansion, hands come behind the body, feet step hip width, bend your knees, lift your chest, fold forward here, dropping the chest towards the thighs. 
tuck the chin, press the fingers up and towards the screen, start to move side to side, really opening the shoulders up as we get ready to go overhead with that weight. Release the hands to the ground, step back high to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, three-legged down dog, right toes high, wide runner's lunge, right foot outside, right hand, drop your left knee down, wide-legged half splits, straighten the right leg, flex the right toes, big stretch in that right hamstring, prepping for our swings, for our snatches, come back into that wide runner's lunge, left hand down, right arm high, side plank, step that right foot back, hold here, left shoulder sex, over left wrist, draw the belly in, lift the hips, high plank, low plank, shift forward and down, upward facing dog, Downward facing dog, three-legged down dog, left toes go high. Wide runner's lunge, sorry, I'm left foot outside, left hand. Right knee plants, wide-legged half split. Straighten the left leg, flex the left toes back. Big stretch into that left hamstring. Shift forward, right hand down, left arm high, side plank, step that left foot back, right shoulder over right wrist, lift your hips, draw your belly in. High to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, take a big breath out. See your hands step all the way through, come to lying on your back, arms to cross. We're gonna move into crunches. When I say go, curl yourself up, tapping the elbow to the thighs. And go, right back down. And go, right back down. Six more, just like that. It's a curl up, tapping those elbows to the thigh. When you're done, rock and roll all the way up to stand. I want 10 jump and touch, right into 10 high knees. We're moving along, A20, let's go. 10 jump and touch, 10 high knees. Drive those knees up, knees up, come on. Come on, let's get it. And then find your weight. We're gonna move into some swings. How we doing, Em? Good. All right, feet shoulder width. Grab onto your weight, load up the hamstrings. Back is flat. When I say go, pull that weight between the legs, pop the hips open, getting that weight slowly up to eye level. And go, pop the hips, work that way to eye level. Once it's at eye level, I want four swings. Popping the hips open, arms fully extend here. After those swings, hold on to the weight, Bring it into the front rack position, resting on the shoulders, elbows drive up. We're gonna move right into those front squats. When I say down, come to the bottom, hold there until I say stand. And down, pull the hips back, elbows up, and stand. And down, drive the knees out, and stand. Four more front squats, just like this. Your chest is gonna wanna drop because you're holding onto that weight. Get the elbows up, get the chest lifted. When you're done, Set that weight to the floor. Meet me in mountain pose. Feet plant, arms sweep high, biceps right by the ears. Forward fold, plant your hands, step back high to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three-legged down dog, right toes high. Knee to nose, carve the belly out. Three-legged down dog, right toes high, step through low lunge. Airplane arms, sweep the arms back, squeeze the shoulders. Warrior three, arms reach to the front of the space. Pull your biceps by your ears. This is that overhead we're looking for in the push press. One-legged mountain pose, left leg lifts. From here, take a twist, right hand outside that left knee, sweep the left arm back, waking up that spine. Half moon, send the left leg back, right hand down, left arm high, look down at your right thumb. Warrior two, right knee bend, step it back. Reverse triangle, right leg straightens, right arm goes high. Triangle pose, reach forward and down. Revolve triangle, left hand down, right arm high. Try to keep both legs straight. From here, star pose, rise up. 10 jumping jacks right away, starting to build a little bit more heat. Getting ready for those push press and those snatches. Meet me back in star pose when you're done. Toes out, heels in, nice big X, you got it. Horse pose, sink down low. Low lunge, turn to the front of the space. Standing splits, fingers stay on the ground, walk the hands towards the right heel, lift your left toes high. Mountain pose, both feet plan, arms sweep up tall. Relax your hands, find your torpedo, put it between your feet, find your weight, whatever you got. We're gonna go into that single arm deadlift that Emily and I showed you up at the chalkboard, all right? So feet are shoulder width apart, your weight is between your legs, lower down, putting your right hand on your weight. When I say stand, arm stays long, just open the hips. And stand, open the hips, take a look at M, this is where you should be. Reset back down, left hand on. Back is flat, shoulders over hips, hips over knees, and stand. Reset back down. Release your weight, stand up, shake it out, all right? We're gonna add on, we're gonna move into our snatch progression. So now we've done the deadlift, next is the high pull. Biggest thing you need to think about, guys, is the hips open, once the glutes squeeze, then you initiate the pull, but not before, all right? Right hand on. When I say go, it's a high pull, reset right back to this position. And go, 
elbow up, right back down. Left hand on, back is flat. And go, right back down. I want four more high pulls. Get that elbow up as if you're going to elbow me, as if I'm standing right behind you. Four right, four left, then grab that weight, put it in the front rack. We got push press. All right, let's wake up the shoulders. Let's get for that, ready for that overhead. Elbows up, feet beneath the hips. When I say go, it's dip, drive, punch, and hold at the top. And go, dip, drive, punch, hold. Biceps by ears, wrist over shoulder, press into that weight, core is tight. Reset, I want five more push press. Dip, drive, punch. Use your legs here to create a little bit of momentum, to bring a little bit more power when you're done. Drop down to the ground, I want 10 crunches. Waking up that core just a little bit more. Arms crossed, rolling up, tapping those elbows to mid thigh. How are we doing, Em? Good. All right, after those crunches, down dog. You guys are doing amazing, stay with this. We're moving into that left side. Plant the hands, down dog. Three-legged down dog, left toes lift. Low lunge, step your left foot through. Airplane arms, lift the chest, draw the belly in. Warrior three, press into that left heel, launch arm, fingers reach to the screen. One-legged mountain pose, right leg lifts, pull the biceps back. Taking that twist, left hand outside of the right knee, twist, reach your right arm to the back of the space. Half moon, left hand down, right arm high. Really trying to build some heat through the core here, belly to spine. Warrior two, slowly step it back. Reverse triangle, reach up and back. Triangle pose, left hand reaches forward and down. Revolve triangle, right hand down, left arm high. We're twisting through the spine. Star pose, open up 10 more jumping jacks, clapping behind the back this time. Looking for a little bit more range of motion. When you're done, step back out, star pose, toes out, heels in, nice big X with the body. Awesome job, you guys. Horse pose, sink down low. Low lunge, turn to the front of the space. Standing splits, fingers stay down on the ground. Walk your hands in, tuck the chin. Mountain pose, right foot plants, arms sweep up high. Find your weight, put it between your feet. We've got the full snatch. So stand up really quick, guys. We're gonna put it all together. We've done the single arm deadlift. We've done the high pull. All that you need to do to finish is pull the weight all the way up to the top. So keep that elbow high as you pull to the top. Rotating that palm in, wrist over shoulder. We're gonna hold at to the top. Right hand on, back is flat, hamstrings loaded. And go all the way up. Hold, wrist over shoulder, biceps, bears, reset to the shoulder. Bring that weight to the left hand, reset back down. Back is flat, hamstrings loaded. And go, right back down. Four more snatches, remember it's alternating. Right, left, right, left, pop your hips. Pull that weight to the top, finish. Arm fully extend, when you're done with those four, set it down, downward facing dog. Nice job, you guys really use your legs to get that weight up and overhead, you got it. Find that down dog, we're gonna flow and go. Three-legged down dog, right toes high. Low lunge, step your right foot through. Airplane arms, lift the chest, fire up the core. Warrior three, press into that right heel, reach the fingers high. One-legged mountain pose, left leg lifts. Easy twist, right hand outside the left knee, left arm sweeps back. Half moon, right hand down, left arm high, find your balance. Warrior two, right knee bends, reach through your fingers. Reverse triangle, right leg straightens, right arm goes tall. Triangle pose, reach forward and down. Revolve triangle, left hand down, right arm high. Star pose, reach up high. 10 skaters, bounce side, two side. Let's go, get low for me here. Building a little bit more heat through the legs and then right back into star pose. Step it out wide. Horse pose, sink down low. Low lunge, turn to the front of the space. This time, three-legged down dog, right toes high. Wide runner's lunge, right foot outside, right hand. Six mountain climbers, jump and switch. And then downward facing dog. You're doing amazing. Stay with me, last time through, left toes up. Low lunge, step forward. Airplane arms, lift the torso. Warrior three, launch off, reach the fingers to the front. One-legged mountain pose, right leg lifts. Left hand comes outside that right knee, take that open arm twist. Half moon, left hand down, right arm high, arms stay wide. Warrior two, step it back. Reverse triangle, reach up and back. Triangle pose, reach forward and down, arms wide, revolve triangle, right hand down, left arm high, feel that twist. Star pose, reach up high. 10 more skaters, side, two, side, let's go, let's go guys, get low for me here. When you're done, right back into star pose. Here we go. Horse pose, sink low. Low lunge to the front of the space. Three-legged down dog, left toes high. Wide runner's lunge. Six more mountain climbers, then jump up to the top of your space. We are gonna get going into this A20. Here we go, guys. Ooh. Air high fives. You are ready. Let's get after it. Ooh. 
All right, you guys, quick recap. We've got four rounds, five minutes round, two minutes, 16 swings, 16 push press, two minutes, 11 snatches, 11 front squats, and we're gonna finish off each round with one minute max crunches, all right? Find that challenge here for unbroken sets for each movement. Kicking things off, 16 swings. Get ready, A20. Here we go, you got it. Come on, you're on in three, two, one, go. Pull that weight back, pop the hips open, arms long and loops. Yeah, find a nice steady pace here. We're working for two minutes, 16 swings, 16 push rests, back and forth between these two movements. Try to go for that 16 in a row, rest if you need to, and then get right into those 16 push press. We're breaking each movement up in a little bite-sized chunks, all right? You got it, you got it, here we go. Nice job, nice job. Keep a nice flat back in those swings. When you finish your swings, you've got push press. Elbows are up, pointed at the screen. Feet are hip width, your dip, drive, punch that weight to the top. Look at Emily, she's using those legs to power that weight overhead, that is so, Important, that's what makes a push press a push press. You can go a little bit heavier. You get to use your legs to explode up, pressing that weight to the top. When you finish, make sure to check that your weight is directly overhead. It shouldn't be out in front of you. It definitely shouldn't be behind you. You should feel no hyperextension into that low back. Nice job, guys. We're hitting these two movements back and forth, back and forth. Find a nice, steady pace here. That's it. Pop the hips open, two movements that we're using our legs to generate power and get that implement where we want it to go. Great job. Feel your hamstrings, feel your glutes engage in those swings. In the push press, drive that weight up overhead. Pull your biceps back by your ears. Keep chucking along, you guys. Keep chucking, let's go. You got it, nice job. Always let that weight reset to the front rack, meaning it's resting on the shoulders and elbows are up. We've got 15 more seconds with these two movements. Keep moving through this, guys. You got it. We're gonna switch to 11 snatches, 11 front squats. Same thing, we want unbroken sets. Here we go, we got snatches in. Three, two, one, go. 11 snatches right in. Pull that weight to the top. Finishing wrist, stacks over the shoulder, rotating for that external rotation, palm faces in. Nice job, remember it's alternating snatches here. 11 right, sorry, not 11 right. 11 right and then, <laughs> I can't speak today. 11 total, right, left, right, left. All right guys, here we go. Sometimes it's hard for me to figure out what I wanna say, you know? You got it guys, stay with it. Watch how Emily pulls that weight up to the top. She's not pulling before her hips open that super, super crucial to the snatch. If you're in your snatches, guys, back is flat. Pull that weight up, keeping the elbow high. Once you hit your front squats, feet shoulder width distance apart. Keep those elbows up, lift your chest, look up at the screen the entire time. Your chest is gonna wanna start to drop with that weight added onto that squat. Don't let it happen. Belly to spine, really think about firing up the core here. You got it, guys, stay with it, nice job. That's it, find a nice, steady pace. Pop the hips, zip that weight, it should stay tight to the body here. Nice, um, as we start to fatigue, a common fault that we see in snatches, if you look up at the screen as we go like this, and we drop our elbow, and we push. What I need you to remember is a snatch is a pulling movement. So you have to keep that elbow up and just keep pulling that weight to the top, finding that overhead position, wrist over shoulder, biceps by ears. We got 10 seconds, then we're gonna get rid of that weight and we're gonna do 60 seconds of crunches. Stay with it guys, find that nice steady pace. Here we go, crunches in three, two, one. 60 seconds crunches, arms cross, you're rolling up here, just bringing those elbows to just above that hip crease, maybe even a mid thigh, but I want you to really think about that. We're rolling up, engaging all of those abdominals here. Just find a nice, steady pace. The core is definitely gonna be on fire once we get through this first round. Maybe even 30 seconds in, you're already feeling this burn. How are we doing, Em? Good. Yeah. Feeling the burn. Feeling the burn. Feeling that abdominal burn, you guys. This is gonna be super helpful, especially as we get into our 
weighted movement here. It's same engagement that you're feeling right now in those crunches. Use that to your advantage in your weighted movements. Belly to spine, locking that midline in tight. Nice work. Nice work. You got it. That's it. Stay with it, guys. You have 16 swings, 16 push press. Coming up next, here we go in three, two, one. 16 swings, 16 push press. You got it, guys. Picking up right where you left off. You got it. Let's go. Nice, Sam. Pop the hips open, guys. Do not let yourself lean back here. We want to protect the low back as much as we can. Look up at the screen. If you feel your hips getting out in front of your shoulders, you're pressing too far. We want to pop our hips open, standing tall, shoulders directly up over the hips. Find that steady pace and keep chipping away through this. You got it. Nice work, nice work. Keep those elbows up. Find that front right position, always resetting the weight to the shoulders, elbows up. That's it, A20, you got it, come on. Nice, um, use your legs, remember. Pop those hips open, bring as much power as you can into that push press. Think if I was to ask you to jump up and touch something on the wall, that's what you should be doing in our push press. That's what needs to happen to drive that weight up and overhead. Keep going, guys, you can do this. Stay with that pace. See if you can move through continuously with unbroken sets. You've got 16 reps, you rest between. You might start to feel this in the forearms from gripping onto that weight. You need to get through one movement, shake it out, maybe take a little forearm stretch. Good job, Em, good job. Let's go athletes, you got it. Stay with it, stay with it guys, come on. Yeah, nice work, nice work. You can do this, stay in it, stay in it. We got snatches, front squats, coming up in 10 seconds. You're gonna pick up right where you left off, guys. Keep chipping away, stay in this. You got it, in two, one, yeah, let's go. How we doing, Em? Good. Yeah, snatches and front squats, definitely a harder one together. Front squats are always challenging for me, it's so hard. You got it guys, watch Emily here. She's really driving those hips open to get that weight up to the top. We gotta keep those elbows high all the way till we finish. Nice work, that's it. Same overhead finish that we had in that push press. You can do this. Plug away, rep by rep, stay with it. You got it, let's go. Nice work. Awesome, you guys. In those front squats, weights resting on the shoulders, elbows are up. Keep your chest lifted, draw the belly in, just find a nice steady pace. Remember, it's not about speed today. We're just trying to move through for unbroken sets. That is the game that we're trying to get through. That's the name of the game we're trying to get through, is unbroken sets, one movement at a time, focusing on rep by rep, all right? You can do this, come on. Get those elbows up. Drive your knees out, all right? When we start to add weight, our knees naturally want to cave in. We need to press the knees out. You got it, guys. Come on, I wanna see your eyes on the screen. I wanna see your eyes on M and I. Get those elbows up in the front squats. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, if you're back to snatches, make sure you're not fatiguing out and letting your chest round out. A lot of times as we get tired in that setup position, we round out our shoulders. If you look up at the screen, if you look at M, she's got her chest lifted. She's got a nice flat back. That's exactly what I need you guys to focus on here. Stay with it. All right, we've got crunches coming up in three, two, one. Crunches, here we go. Arms are crossed, roll up, tapping the elbow to the middle of the thigh. Find that nice, steady pace. You got it, you got it, here we go. Nice work. The second time, the third time, the fourth time we hit those crunches, guys, it's gonna be that much harder. Just try to move through this, find a steady pace. You're here for the challenge. You showed up today to push yourself mentally and 
physically. Keep going here, you can do this. Yes, you can, come on, I'm with you, M's with you, we're in this together. Let's go, you guys, stay with it. Set a goal, you've got 15 seconds. How many more reps are you gonna get through here? Stay with it, because keep plugging away. You can do this, all right? We're heading into our second half of our 20 minutes of high intensity. We're back up to our swings and push press right where you left off in three, two, one, go. Right back up to the top, right back up to the top in the second half. You got it. Nice work, Em. Arms long and loose, guys. Pop the hips open, getting that weight all the way up to eye level. Stay with it. Core's on fire, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. So use that to your advantage in the swings. We wanna make sure we're not letting ourselves lean back. We're standing tall, bringing as much power and explosiveness into that hip drive as we can, getting that weight up to eye level. You got it, come on. Stay with it, stay with it. Maybe you know you were getting through three sets of the movements in those two minutes, maybe it was four. Try to stick with that same pace throughout these 20 minutes, all right? You can do this. Nice work, nice work. That's it. Keep chugging away, guys. Keep chugging away. Whew. Let's go. Come on, A20, you can do this. How we doing, M? Good. Good. M's good, you guys are good at home. You're crushing this workout right now, I can feel it. You're bringing the energy, you're bringing the heat. We're having some fun. Let's get through this, all right? We got 30 more seconds with swings and with those push press. Stay with it, guys. You showed up for this challenge today. Let's get it, all right? All you got, come on. Stick with it. Keep using your legs, especially in the push press. Drive that weight up to the top. Wrist over shoulder, biceps by ears. I need to see your arms fully extend every single rep that you take. Come on, let's go get those elbows up. Snatches, front squats where you left off in two, one, go. Come on, come on, you got it. You got it, let's get it. Pull those hips back, drive the knees out. Nice job, get those elbows lifted high for me. Come on, stay in this, you can do it, let's go, let's go. Ooh, nice work. Stay in it, guys. All right, your chest is likely starting to want to drop in those front squats. Belly to spine, lift the chest, really engage the core, feel the low back working to stabilize the torso. Nice job, guys. As the arms are fatiguing out from those push press and snatches, even more important that you pop those hips open, pulling that weight all the way up to the top. Strong overhead position. Wrist over shoulder, biceps by ears. Keep going, keep that weight nice and tight as you pull it all the way up to the top. You got it, let's go. Come on. Stay in it, stay in it. Come on, you can do this. Remember, elbow goes high. It should never drop below the shoulders. You're pulling that weight up to the top in the snatches. Come on, keep it tight. Zip it up the front of the body, get it all the way up to the overhead position. Let's go, you can do this, come on. Come on, you got it, you got it. Woo! Nice work. Stay in this, stay with it. Rep after rep. You shake it out between movements, you get back in, we're working for that unbroken set. You can do this, A20, come on. You're so strong, athletes, let's go. Keep chipping away at this. All the way, you got it, come on. Knees are out, knees are out in those front squats. Don't let them cave in, engage the outer thighs. Pull the hips back, let's feel those glutes on fire, stand tall. We got crunches in three, two, one. Crunches, here we go guys, arms are crossed, roll up here. Yeah, just find a nice steady pace. Remember, it's not about speed here. We want you to just be moving as much as you can in this 60 second interval. Yeah, you can do it. I know, I, if it was me and I was M, my abs would be on fire right now. She's chipping away. Yeah. We got the lower abdominals on fire, upper abdominals as you roll up. 
stay with this, guys. You can do it. Keep moving through this. We have 20 seconds, and then we're moving into our final quarter. All right, come on, stay with it. Keep moving through this. I know it's getting hard. I know it's on fire, but you can do this. We got 10 seconds. Give me a few more reps. Come on, let's go. Final round, fourth quarter. Swings and push press in three, two, one. You're right back where you left off. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it right here, right now. Yes, you can. This is it. This is our fourth quarter. I need you to turn up the dial. I want you to hold on. Keep pushing for those unbroken sets. Keep pushing through, rep by rep. Take breaks between the movements. Make it your goal to get through all 16 without putting that weight down. You can do this. Let's go, you're so strong, come on. Yes, you can, stay in it. Get those hips open, remember, save the arms, use the legs in those swings and push press. On your push press, it's a dip, drive, punch the weight to the top. Arms fully extend, wrist steps over shoulder, biceps by ears, keep pushing. I need to see those elbows up in that push press. Come on, elbows up. Reset to that front rack every single time. That's it, that's it, come on. This is it, the last quarter. Yes, you can. Stay in it. Come on, push through it. You got this. Let's go, let's go. It's go time right here. Come on, come on. Swings and push press. Final set with these movements. You've got just under a minute to get through these swings and push press. Dig deep, give it all you got. Let's go. Come on, come on, you can do this. Pop the hips open, arms fully extend. Get that weight to eye level. Here's my hand. Pop that weight up. See my hand? Hit my hand with your weight. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, A20. Come on. We're pushing through our final round right now. This is it. Come on. Come on. Let's go all the way. All the way. Yes, you can. Nice job. Get those elbows up for me in your push press. Elbows up. Drive through the legs. Here we go. We've got snatches, front squats, right into it, right where you left off. In three, two, one, go. Right in, guys. Snatches and front squats. Final two minutes with the weight. Yes, you can. We gotta pop those hips open. Remember what I talked about in the push press? We're thinking about we're jumping here. Same idea with the snatch. You start from the ground, we drive our hips open. Imagine you're about to explode up, trying to jump up and touch something above you. That's the kind of power we need to generate in those snatches. If you're in your front squats, guys, I need to see elbows up. Get the chest lifted, knees are driving out. You're lowering down all the way in that squat. The goal is hips below knee crease. Find a steady pace, keep moving through this, all right? You can do this. Let's go, let's go, come on. Pull those hips back, pull those hips back. Come on, knees out, chest up in your front squats. Yes, you can, let's go. Keep moving through this, come on. Come on, stay with it, stay with it. All right, you got it athletes, you got it. That's it, that's it. Whew. Here we go, stay with it, stay with it, come on. That's it, nice job, Em. Pull that weight all the way to the top, finishing wrist over shoulder, biceps by ears, finding a nice steady pace as you zip that weight all the way up to the top. All right, you have just under 30 seconds left with your weighted movements, come on. Find that push, let's go, give it all you got. Keep pushing through this, you can do this. Come on, come on, you're so strong. 10 seconds and then we finish with 60 seconds of crunches. Let's go A20, come on, all the way, rep by rep. Yes, you can, we got crunches in three, two, one, go, 60 seconds of crunches. This is it, this is it, come on. This is the finisher. All you got, if you can, dial up that intensity just a little bit more here. See if you can get the most reps you've gotten all day in this final round of crunches. Come all the way up, get those elbows to hit the thigh. Arms are crossed, you're rolling up. We got 30 seconds, come on. Come on, A20, take it home. 
take it home. This is it. All the way, all the way. You got it. Come on. You're rolling up, firing up those abdominals. Yes, you can. Here we go. I know the core is on fire, but you got it. This is it. We're in this together. You have 10 seconds. Come on. Buckle down. Give it all you got. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Stay in it. Stay in it. Get through this all the way for three, two, one. Time. Awesome. Awesome work. Way to go, A20. Nice job, M. Catch your breath. We're going to cool down. All right, amazing work today. Way to show up and crush that workout. We're gonna go ahead and cool down now. Find standing at attention pose. Feet come to touch, eyes close, palms forward. Start by taking a big breath in through the nose. Acknowledge your hard work. And open mouth exhale, send it out. Eyes open, mountain pose, reach up tall. Baby back bend, goal post the arms, squeeze the glutes. One legged mountain pose, right leg lifts. Interlace your hands below the right knee, draw the right leg up, and just take a few ankle rolls clockwise, counterclockwise. And then rise up, one legged mountain pose, low lunge, step your right foot back, fingers come to the floor. Easy twist, right hand down, left arm high. And from here, Find crescent moon, right knee drops, arms sweep up tall. Find a chest expansion, press the fingers away, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Fingers come down to the ground, standing splits. Tuck the chin, walk your hands in, lift the right toes high. Mountain pose, right foot plants, slowly roll up to mountain pose. Baby back bend, we'll post the arms. One legged mountain pose, left leg lifts. Interlace below the left knee, draw the left leg up and in. Rolling the ankle clockwise and counterclockwise. Then low lunge, step it back, fingers to the floor. Crescent moon, left knee drops, arms sweep up tall. Find the same chest expansion we took on the other side, hands interlace behind the back. Hinge forward here, feeling that stretch in the left hip flexor, left quad. Release your fingers to the ground. Standing splits. Press into the right heel. Drop your chest towards the right thigh. Try to square the hips so that they're facing the back of the space. Forward fold both feet plant. Ragdoll pose. Bring the feet hip width distance apart. Gently sway side to side. Let your head hang heavy. Let your jaw unclench. And then release your hands down to the ground. Step back to a puppy dog pose. Knees find their way down to the floor. Walk the hands forward. Press your chest down to the ground. Hips stay high. Just take a moment here to be still, to be quiet. Shift forward, tabletop. Swing your legs out in front of you. Reach your arms to the front of this space, fold forward here, drop your chest towards the thighs, taking any amount of bend in the knees that you need to deepen the stretch through the hamstrings. And then arms reach forward, slowly lower to your back, taking your time here, and then pull your right knee up and in, supine twist. Left hand guides the right leg over, right arm reaches to the side, bringing both shoulder blades pressed to the floor. Come back through center, right leg exchanges for the left, drawing the left knee up and in. Supine twist, right hand guides the left leg over, left arm goes to the side. Let your shoulder blades relax into the floor beneath you. And finally, come back through center. Find a tight, tiny ball. Draw your forehead towards your knees. Take a big sip of air in. And open mouth exhale, final resting pose. 
Legs go long, arms to the side, with your eyes closed. Start to bring movement to the body, the toes, the fingers, reach the arms overhead, take a long body stretch. With your eyes closed, press yourself to a seat. Take three final breaths to close this class out all together. First breath for yourself, coming into the space to move the body, challenge the mind. Big inhale, open mouth exhale. Second breath is for a community that shows up every single day encouraging you to be your very best. Big breath in and big breath out. Third, final breath, whatever you need it to be for today. Biggest breath yet, inhale and open mouth exhale. Keep your eyes open, give yourselves a hand. Awesome, awesome job you guys. Thank you so much for coming and joining us. We will see you back here tomorrow.